Hey everyone, this podcast is part of Story Mode, the podcast network of Gamefully Unemployed. You can support us and gain access to other great exclusive podcasts at patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds. Hello, traveler, and welcome to Choose Your Own Misadventure, starring Katie Willard, Tom Ryan, Christian Ramirez, Katie Golden, Abe Epperson, and Jane Adams. Today's game is Legacy of Dragonhold. Let us begin. Braxton and Miriam have been separated, each exiled to opposite sides of the caravan wagon. You find Braxton polishing her gorget. What the? <laughs> What's what? that? Sitting What's on that word? Gorget. Oh. 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 I Wait. still don't know what it what is. is. <laughs> it's, it's like the neck part of armor. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I still don't get it. <laughs> I, like it's a nape? Like, kind of, it, yeah. It's, yeah. It's to keep your throat from, Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's that it's thing. It's that goes it's under the chest thing. piece, right? It's the no. scoopy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why didn't I they would... just call it the scoopy thing? <laughs> I honestly was like, gorget. Is it like she's polishing like a butt plug or something? <laughs> <laughs> like something for the <laughs> yeah, evening? Yeah, it's like it's like like <laughs> Either way, that shit's going up her ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giving it a wash and some warm water and dish soap. Just like... <laughs> Polishing <laughs> Gorget. Yeah. Um, sitting on the side of, on the edge of the cart in full armor. Okay. Why? The white of her black and white Fairfax tabard. Don't know what that is. is tabard. Tabard. Is a, tabard is a sword. Of some it's kind. a scoopy thing. <laughs> no, it, it, it is. It is like a, a sword. Yeah. 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 Um, this came to mind. It's crisp and bright. And the black is deep and strong. Her mail gleams. What? Armor. Oh. <laughs> she has a mail. Not her mail. She has a her mail. Her boy <laughs> gleams. <laughs> her boy. She's glistening with oil. <laughs> boy! Come here, boy. Bare chest. Hairless chest glistening with oil. Her cum bodyguard. Just... Yes. Put her in around like ooh. He just looks like a member of the pit crew from RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Polish my gorgeous a second time, boy. Boy. Bryce, I think the redhead. He's the ginger. Bryce. He's the he's the ginger uh, pit crew member. Hey, I'm Bryce. He like. <laughs> like he's depressed by his own name. Okay. There is not an actual male there. Um, yeah, her there mail no gleams, her armor gleams, <laughs> and her leather boots are freshly shined. Her what? straight black hair has been tied back, and a wreath of white anemones circles her head. Anemones? Anemones. Anemones. She glances up and it's, you know, Oh, I think that's a type of flower as well as... Oh, so okay. I was just picturing a sea... <laughs> I was like, just, I was thinking... Just wet, just wet little... tentacles. This is yeah. Bryce, by the way. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, He's yeah, that's it. What did you uh-huh. search He's yeah. to get that? Bryce from RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, okay. He's very smooth. <clears throat> yes, that was what I imagined. <laughs> a smooth she, ginger. She glances up as you approach, and she smiles, setting aside her polishing rag. Are you nervous? She asks you. I am. I shouldn't be. We already did the hard part. Mm. What? 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 Fuck you know, it? No. What? Getting what? to know each other? I mean, or uh, getting a marriage license? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it. Lobbying the laws of the country to allow an orc and a gnome to get married? (laughs) That's probably the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here she's about to explain. (laughs) You know, orcs don't even have a wedding ceremony exactly. There's a celebration, but for us, the wedding is just part of what humans and gnomes consider the proposal. As far as I'm concerned, we're already married, and this is just a formality. Uh She looks down at the gorget and blows out a sigh. (laughs) (laughs) She gusts out a wheezy (laughs) sigh. So why am I nervous? She lifts the gorget to her neck and fastens it in place. It's her family. I need them to like me. They're so important to her and they've never even met me. What if they don't like me? Braxton, you're great. (laughs) Miriam's the son of a bitch. (laughs) Miriam fucking sucks. She stands and fingers the silver chain of her bridal necklace where it lies on the side of her neck. This is torture. I agree. <laughs> I'm not fearless like Miriam. She reaches out to where a beautiful snow-white cloak hangs from the wagon. 
With a sweep of the fabric, she settles it over her shoulders and fastens it with a silver pin. Wait, what? what? I thought she armor. And she, she put a cloak, cloak over, over it. it. It's the fancy cloak. Oh, yeah. like the, um... I thought it was like a dress over armor. Like, like, this is like, it's like the Game of Thrones. Thrones. It's like the King's so, Guard of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay, Wearing I got a cloak it. Over armor. Yeah, okay. I was thinking more uh, Gwendolyn Christie in uh, the new Star Wars. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, works yeah. Too. yeah. Okay. yeah. Phasma? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. Phasma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She got shiny armor, too. Uh, do, 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 do. You can do this, Braxton. You're a knight. A few dozen gnomes armed with judgmental stares is not the most dangerous thing you've ever faced. She's going to flip out and kill them. <laughs> That's why she's putting on her armor. <laughs> she nods to you. But Thanks for listening. Acid. I'm ready. You can tell the others. Aww. Okay. I'm sad that Braxton is so nervous. Yeah, yeah she Braxton's shouldn't be. It's not, it's not yeah. fair. She's rad. Um... Puppy. She's mm-hmm. just completely covered. I just want to pass it to you for sure. <laughs> okay. 29 oh, yeah, you were just a... Yeah. Like, I peeled away another dog. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. On the other side of the cart, Mary is packing, packing, or pacing back and forth, pausing. To... She's packing her bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I have to go, Louis. I can't do this. I can't. I can't marry like, her. Run are... away, bride. <laughs> these are gnomes. They'll I... never go. <laughs> I'll take one for the road, though. <laughs> and eat it. All right, pausing to peek through the curtain and and wring her hands. <clears throat> She's wearing a new skirt of blue amelin cloud weave over tall laced boots. Her jacket is new as well, waist length with thick fawn linen. White w- wildflowers are braided into her red brown hair, and spray of and a spray of white lace emerges from her cuffs. When she sees you, Miriam reaches up and touches the flowers in her hair. You like them? She asks. Penny picked them. Daisies. They can help wounds close and ease rheumatism. Mm? <laughs> Daisies, apparently. They ease rheumatism? Yep. They help wounds close? Yep. What's on Wounds? set for your wedding day? <laughs> what does that If you're hemorrhaging through your uterus, stick a daisy up there. It'll be fine. Marion peeks through the curtain again. Ugh, I'm so nervous. My family has never met Braxton before. What What if she doesn't like them? She wrinkles her nose. Oh. Uh, no, she won't. Uh, Hiram, why do you have to wear that coat? And don't stand so close. My stupid brother is going to ruin everything. Oh, he's wearing one of those, like, flame <laughs> yeah. decal bowling shirts. Oh, and he is for sure the one ruining this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely the worst part of this family. Hiram's definitely got a wallet mm-hmm. chain. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, she no. steps back and takes a deep breath. <laughs> No, he's not. Miriam, calm down. Braxton doesn't care what coat anyone wears. She won't hate your family. This is this is so hard, she says and as she turns to you. I'm not brave like Braxton. I, I feel like I have butterflies in my stomach. Only they're not butterflies. They're fish or something with sharp teeth. Just stick with the traditional metaphor. Yeah, why well, can't make things <laughs> difficult, Miriam? It's because sure, her brain doesn't work good. <laughs> <laughs> also, Hiram's wearing flip flops. <laughs> Yes. With, with with socks. With yeah. socks, yeah. He brought boxed wine. Like with like oh, with like bacon socks, socks of a printed yeah. bacon. Or on. like little tuxedo socks. Oh, I thought socks. it's like I thought you meant like socks that you cook bacon in. <laughs> what? <laughs> like because you're like, look, how to put on my bacon socks? Well, any socks are bacon socks, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this bacon's gonna get real messy because I don't know how to cook. <laughs> Suddenly, she reaches out and grabs your hand. Thanks for being there. I can do this. She reaches down and lifts a beautiful white cloak, settling it over her shoulders and fastening it with a silver pin. Aunt Sapphire made it for me. It's my new favorite cloak, she nods. Tell them I'm ready. You step back in front of the divide and get ready for the nuptials. How did we become the, like, wedding we did, coordinator? We're, like, the best man slash we're not, men. We gotta <laughs> make sure, like, the whole ceremony starts. I was picturing all six of us piling into these situations. Because we didn't say anything to either of them. I know. So we just piled silently just in there. shuffled in and yeah. shuffled And then left. Oh, I'm sure there was some understanding nodding going around. Someone oh, winked at us and did finger guns. Yeah. Mm. Well, some eye twinkling. <laughs> We twinkled back. <laughs> At some unspoken signal, gnomes begin sitting down on the grass and, and of the willow grove. They form themselves into rough rows in a broad semicircle, facing toward the wagon s- stage. Space is filling up quickly as more and more guests filter in from the outskirts of the grove. 
supposed to communicate with insects? <laughs> yeah, that's a hive mind. <laughs> it's it's pheromones. A pheromones. They like the just, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> they like rub. Why does my skin feel sticky? <laughs> <laughs> when one of them dies, a bunch of them like come over and like start lifting the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> At one moment, one of the gnomes turns to another and like, "You can't stand us, can you?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I, not at all. <laughs> all right, choices. Uh, we can sit next to Sapphire, sit next to Grisbeck and Penny, or sit wherever is nearest. Uh, Grisbeck, Grisbeck and, Penny. and Penny. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. Let's no, make fun say? of your normal daughter. It requires story point Q five is marked. Oh yeah, which it probably is. We gave her, her, her a doll. We gave her a doll. It's, oh, it's not. Oh, I guess we didn't get to know them well enough. Oh, well, so next to Sapphire to requires X six is marked. I don't really want to sit next to Sapphire though. Uh, could we d- good? We can't. Okay. <laughs> We're not allowed is. to sit wherever. with anyone. No, we sit wherever, man. Wherever is nearest. Because we bail like when it gives us. <laughs> It yeah. gives us, like, do you want to know more? And we're like, no. <laughs> we have been it's very true. consistent it's about that. Yeah. That's true. Would you like to get to know more? No, more no, no. 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 Let's go yeah. fucking... Let's go meditate. Fuck right. Let's go fucking pick apples. 69 Stare into some Okay. <clears throat> you find a seat next to Jasper. God fucking damn it. Mal <laughs> comes toddling shyly out of a cluster of gnome children and collapses into his father's lap, where he curls up, <laughs> staring at you. His lips wet with blood. <laughs> it's your first wedding pebble, says Jasper. Oh my God. Pebble. Pebbles. Your Aunt Miriam is going to marry the love of her life. We should all be so lucky. Oh, that's Oh, a... he's a sad dad. Yeah, sad dad. <laughs> uh, at your arched brow, Jasper laughs. Am I sounding bitter? I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy I'm crap. happy for Fuck Miriam, you, but it does make me think about my own romantic... Uh, let's just say my happily ever after is this guy and leave it at that. Right, mm-hmm. Mal? Uh, he leans down and Jesus kisses Christ. his son on the head and then turns his attention to the stage. It's like in How to Make an American Quilt when What's-Her-Face is like, it wasn't the love of a man I was meant to have, it was the love of a daughter. Uh, <laughs> Except with two gnomes and one, yeah. and they're both dudes. Uh, read entry A123. So he's both passive aggressive and a sharer. Mm-hmm. We've learned. <laughs> and an oversharer. Yeah, no, like. Anyway, there's this one time. God, that fucking damn it. <laughs> she wanted an open relationship, and I wasn't into it. I haven't. But she didn't months. listen to yeah. me. Uh, oh my fucking god! Here we go. A hush settles over the crowd as Scala, the orc shrine attendant, walks to the wagon. This Scala's is his Scala's wedding for the day. Place He's today. getting paid. He yeah. climbs up onto the stage and raises his hands. Hello, everyone, he says. I understand that gnomish tradition calls for an elder who knows both of the intended to perform the ceremony. I was very pleased to be invited to do so for these two women. If you'll all bear with me, I'll do my best to keep this short. Brief. Keep this brief. A bad joke. Laughter ripples through the crowd and Scala tugs at his long beard. Wait, he made that joke? Yeah. Wouldn't that Why? be racist? It's a real shitty thing to say. Yeah. Um, he gestures and musicians begin to play as this daily tune somewhere behind you. I want to say it's Jenny Wen's Pony. One by one, Miriam's <laughs> father and brother walk through the crowd and stand to one side of the stage. They are followed shortly thereafter by the captain of the guard, Twiggle! In his uniform, and Rochelle, the Countess's daughter, she's the one who hates us, by the way, um, who stand up. <laughs> yeah, because we let her brother die. <laughs> yeah. She should hate but us. We no, that's fair. I'm just him. updating him because we told him, but I couldn't remember <laughs> what her name that's was. That's fine, though. I, I can be hated by whomever. <laughs> Someone is missing, Scala says, glancing between them, and then his eyes rest on you. Aha! Come, come! They want you to stand witness too. What? We've known you for like a week. We got pulled in. Like we're her only friend because she's so insufferable. (laughs) We all stand and join the others down below the stage. The music stops and then starts again in a brighter and more sprightly tune as Braxton and Miriam walk out from behind the hat. Hung the hung (laughs) curtains. The dick curtains. The hung curtains. (laughs) Each emerging from the opposite side. Of the wagon, Braxton there is wearing is. her guard. That's a yep. That's the exact sound. Braxton is wearing her guard uniform and the crown of white flowers. <laughs> While Miriam wears a flowing blue skirt with white flowers braided into her hair. New white cloaks flutter from their shoulders. This is funny. They wrote this if you didn't go and talk to them, so it re-explains their outfits. But the anemones are gone. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, 
skip. The yeah, because they don't talk the about details. Details we that. only get. <laughs> Her head by having talked to them creatures. first. <laughs> they walk slowly at first, then faster and faster around the outside of the assembly, meeting at the top of the semicircle and joining hands. They just <laughs> run to each, into each other. <laughs> Even in the bright sun of the summer's day, their smiles make your day warmer. Don't tell me how to feel, yeah. book. Yeah, this book, like, breaks all the rules of D&D, where you're yeah, not, like, supposed to tell them how you uh, feel, yeah. yeah. Hands joined in sneaking glances at one another, they walk as solemnly as they can manage through the crowd to the stage where Miriam climbs up to stand with Scala and Brex and stays standing on the grass. For once, Miriam is the taller of the two. The gnomes say that marriage is walking together, says Scala. The orcs say that marriage is an alliance fighting side by side against the challenges of the world. Trust orcs to turn everything into a battle. Scala grins at the crowd and chuckles. Scala's trying to, like, have a tight vibe. He's, like, 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 like working on his material. (laughs) He's a self-hating orc. (laughs) I'm taping a special at the end of the month. I'm just trying to work some stuff. (laughs) Like, if you had, like, again, an Irish person at a wedding, it's like, don't get too drunk. (laughs) (laughs) Remember that potato famine? Uh, okay. How uh, old is this Irish? You two, have come together. you two have come together because you love one another. You wish to walk together to face whatever may come together. He gestures to the witnesses gathered on either side. Marriage is a life oath. Marriage is a lifelong commitment and beyond as well. The union you create here goes beyond you. It unites your families and creates a new family and a new tradition that will carry on after your deaths. He raises his voice speaking to the assembly. Your your voice is a lot better than mine. (laughs) And all of you here today are part of that. You have brought these people together, and they have brought you together as well. Look around you. This community is forged this day, and may it last ever after. Scala reaches out. <laughs> Sound a little bit like uh, Gil Radner doing Bar- Barbara Walters. Uh, <laughs> Scala reaches out his hands and touches each bride on the shoulder. <laughs> it is time. Say your vows. Mary, uh, Miriam takes a deep breath. I married him. <laughs> she squeaks. Myself to you, she Braxton. Yeah, like, <laughs> her voice grows as she continues. Oh. Uh, grows stronger as she continues. I will walk with you when you travel and stay beside you when you rest. Mm. I will wander with you wherever you go. Braxton is perspiring heavily. <laughs> because my home is with you. Now and forever. Sweating like Test when he married Stephanie yeah. McMahon. Love <laughs> <laughs> is uh, like a cactus. Hi, <laughs> Braxton. That's the one you choose? That's the plan you choose. Can I bail? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Okay, uh, I, Braxton, pledge myself to you, Mary. I'm choked, choked Braxton. <laughs> Jokes. Her voice flooded with tears, but as she continues, her voice true goes stronger. I will be your shield and your comfort. Oh. I will love for you when you are sick and be beside you when you are strong. My home is with you now and forever. These are tears of like sudden realism. Yeah, like oh fuck, oh, I'm God. tied to this woman forever. Her family knows me now. Like the enormity of like the commitment goes beyond just like you know like having a gnome get in your nether regions it's like yeah it would have been easier to bail before she had met the whole family now she's met the family um she can't get out Uh, meliam emerald eliad eberon dwightstone and dame waxen of dragonholt i pronounce you wed declared scala you may kiss the bride they turn to face each other and marion bursts out laughing I'm finally tall enough to do this, she says, bending over her wife and <laughs> dipping her backward with a passionate kiss. Are Cheers are up. Wait, all around. Oh, she got dipping her. No. Yeah. She right. stood on the. She's standing on the she's stage. Standing on yeah, the but stage. still, you but can't. Like, they, they would topple. Yes, yeah. No. 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 Miriam's no, not very yeah, strong. Right. Uh, that would, no. This is Braxton, <laughs> Braxton's core strength is what's doing yes. all of this work. <laughs> uh, and dipping her backward with a passionate kiss. <laughs> Cheers erupt all around you as children run every which way. Right. Because, wait, she's a full-size orc in a full in suit armor. of armor. <laughs> like, 
It's real tight core. And, and right well, she wants to And it's yeah. not like gnomes are just short with extremely buff arms. No. So and they have like, little, she has little T Rex arms trying to hold on to them. With also, sausagey little fingers. <laughs> also, Braxton's covered in like a layer of sweat as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, her hands are just like. Hang on. But like, if she dips her, then like all then of Miriam. We goes did. flying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. 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 It doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, yes, this part sense. of the Marianne book Marianne's just holding her makes head. No sense. This is what you can't let go of. But any other <laughs> yes, little yes. Little this one makes me angry. Now that it's about physics, which is sort of like math, I'm mad. <laughs> her yeah. hands are that of a baby with little stubby <laughs> fingers. Right. That, I thought that the like the hug would just be like tossing the gnome <laughs> in the air, like me. To be honest, in my head, I thought the gnomes looked like in Frozen, the the like rock creatures. Those are trolls, though. I know, but that's like what they the look like in my head. Are, yeah. Like they're like small and round. I guess no, I think like of like gnomes. World of Warcraft gnomes, like very small. Like hobbit like, yeah. No, smaller like one or than two hob- foot. Like they're, like, they're even smaller than their heads are big like taller, and their right? bodies are like yeah, they look like. Babies with old faces. I've been... <laughs> See, I think of, like, lawn gnomes, so I think of, like, yeah. little dunce yeah. hats and... I've been picturing, like, David the Gnome gnomes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Who's David? What? Oh, oh buddy. No! What? It's a child. David the Gnome? Book. It's delightful. Yeah, oh. it's a fantastical oh. little... It's a wonderful Neat. little cartoon show they used to show on yeah. Nick Jr. Cool. So... <laughs> All right, so... So, Miriam and Braxton defy physics... Uh, the shears erupt all around you as children run every which way, hurling flowers into the sky, <laughs> hurling, hurling, throwing yes. up. <laughs> just, <they're laughs> just <laughs> scream vomiting flowers to the sky. <laughs> we told you not to put the poop on the food. <laughs> hurling flowers into the air or directly at the faces of onlookers. What? The musicians the strike up things. a gay melody. Sapphire begins to sob, and the newlyweds walk through the crowd, arm in arm, smiling and waving as they go. When they reach the edge of the semicircle, they turn. Reception at the swan, shouts Miriam. See you all there. Then she grabs Braxton's hand, and they sprint, laughing across the grove. Time passes. The encounter is complete. And I guess we're going to the swan next, right? What was I mean, the that's one? where the reception is. Yeah, but what was the one that we skipped before? Mm. Because, like, there was, we had to let time pass. Um, That's a shrine, right? Well, oh, no, no, yeah, that was at the... Oh, the... Wait. Because we thought the wedding was going to be in that other place, but it wasn't. But it wasn't. Oh, the Market Square. The Market whatever. Square. Yeah. I think it was the Village Green. Oh, the Village Green. The Village, Village Green, Green, yeah. Okay. Yeah, then there was something else after, like, five time has passed. Yeah. yeah. We're only three time right now, so we're okay, going to Okay, we've got to go to the swan. So, I what's think it was the six swan time. in the map? Six I haven't time? made I a think decision it yet. Yeah. Right, so this has all just been exposition, yeah. Yeah, uh, seventy four hundred. Uh, Gotta give it to Katie. Did it say anything else about like time passing? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a time, it's a time pass. pass. Okay, time pass. So pass. one. If I saw well, that, was I'd it, just be like, "Yep, uh, I got a thing, guys." <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Swan. What day is it? Five. It is five. The Swan is busier and more crammed full of patrons than you've ever seen. Crammed. 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 The measure, the scattered humans, orcs, and dwarves of Dragonhold clustering corners, or in one case, sit with their feet drawn up under them by the fire, looking about with wide eyes at the seemingly endless parade of gnomes that fill the rest of the event. Kitty, me, you fucking gnomes! <laughs> gnomes chatter at all the tables. Gnomes bustle in and out of the kitchen with trays of food and beverages. Gnomes slap each other's shoulders and swap stories on every scrap of floor. A gnome woman with a glass eye is clowning. <laughs> Is that like is that like the name? Oh my god! Is that a name for like lifestyle as a clown? Like like I I live as a clown. (laughs) What are you doing right now? Here we go. A gnome woman is with a glass eye is clowning about near the stairs, popping her eye in and out of the socket to the cheers and gasps of a gaggle of children. That's metal. That is fucking metal. You're right. Hey kids, check this shit out. It's like yeah, fuck you. Other than Tommy, no check on that bronze eye. (laughs) You checking this shit? This is awesome! <laughs> We're fucking gnomes! This is the only tolerable gnome other than Tommy. I know. I don't know, I like the lady with the spiky hair and the spoons. She was fun. <laughs> 
Um, Hang on. Meanwhile, the blacksmith is in the corner being like, you're only doing that because of my leg, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the one with the... Oh, God. The one-legged blacksmith. Fiore, yeah. yeah, so far, I like the, the gnome with her eye popping out the spiky eye gnome <laughs> with the spoons, and then the gnome on the power chair with the horn. <laughs> the ant. Um, <laughs> two gnome men with long black beards perch on high stools and suck on unlit pipes, frowning at everyone and everything. Why are they... Why are they there? You can go yeah, home. Yeah, you like that pipe? You can go <laughs> home, you fucking asshole. A cluster of gnomes uh, surrounds a dusky-skinned human woman in a sheepskin vest, apparently trying and failing to beat her at a card game. It's all rather a lot to dig in. Uh, if zero or one time has passed today, no. If four or five time has passed today, Is four time has four passed. Four time has passed today. Okay. Read entry 4616. Nope. I haven't made a decision right now. So That's probably the reception. Is what okay. 4616. Here we go. Here are decisions. Miriam and Braxton's wedding reception has begun. <laughs> Adding to the chaos of the common room, the wedding party has climbed a long table under the windows where you see Miriam seated next to her father. Sapphire waves to you as she passes, headed to the kitchen where you see that Grisbeck the baker is hard at work on what you presume is the traditional wedding cake. Penny, Grisbeck's daughter, waddles past with the gnome toddler, Mal, balanced on her feet, cackling with delight at each step they take together. I don't mean to be criticizing Grisbeck, but that shit should be ready. Yeah, yeah, he had time. You had yeah. time, my man. All those adverbs, though, make, it's like, they're ducks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're, they're like, honking. <laughs> waddling, flapping. Uh. <laughs> 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 We have some decisions. Oh, cool. We can sit with Miriam and her father. Mm-hmm. We can watch Penny and Malachi play. We can help out in the kitchen. That's just weird. We can return to your room for a while. <laughs> walking like... Or you can leave the Not today. One. So pretty much either sit with Miriam and her father, watch Penny and Malachi play, or help out in the kitchen. Because otherwise it's or just... Or go have some alone just time. Just counter is over again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, cookie. You know Dea Kitty? Can you hear the baby? Is she there? Is she away? She mad at Kitty for existing. Did you just realize that there are two cats here? Your sweet boy? She dumb. Sweet lady? She's not very smart. She's very stupid. Calm down. Okay. Dumb dog. Um, Welcome to dog talk. (laughs) Do we want to? Okay. I kind of want to help out in the kitchen. But we can sit with Miriam and her dad. No, no. <laughs> or we can watch children play. We can just sing stare at two weird. children. We don't. Yeah, I don't want to do us. that. <laughs> that's just like staring. Well, they <laughs> stared at us today. That's true. How do you yeah. like it, you little shit? Like that doesn't mean like that's behavior that should not. Be. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna help out in the kitchen. Sure. 30, 34. Also, so it's just, it's just like okay. six of us, like, crowning around <laughs> yeah. two children, just like, <sighs> playing. Just, just 30, leering at two kids that 30, don't belong 30, to us. Hey, Penny. 30, 30, <laughs> Remember when we gave you that doll? <laughs> yeah. We were grooming her the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Sorry, guys, that got real. <laughs> you find Sapphire, Grisbeck, and a handful of other gnomes hard at work in the kitchen. Grisbeck is carefully squeezing... Whipped cream. What? Just, he's squeezing whipped cream from a pastry bag onto a towering cake. I just don't like like their fingers. I just don't like the fingers. Spotted through the currants and adorned with flesh red, fresh red berries. No, flesh, flesh red. red berries. Flesh, yeah. flesh red know. berries. <laughs> Sapphire is chocolate. Flesh berries, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Flesh from the... From the freshest of trees. <laughs> that used to be my dad. Uh, <laughs> Sapphire is chopping washed garden greens, which she then scoops into a broad wooden bowl and dresses with oil and vinegar. She hands the salad off to a runner and bustles to her oven to baste a pair of ducks roasting there. Hello, dear, she says over her shoulder. Solid, good job. Here to help. <laughs> If I'm you glad have, you've made this decision for us. Yeah. If you have craftsmanship... Do you? Is it just me? Yeah, look you. at your character sheet. No. no. I know I do not. 
Otherwise, read 2726. Oh, I wish they would let you try to help even if you don't have the skill. Yeah, just like, rig. if it goes one way, like, you yeah. do a beautiful cake and the other yeah, one, you just shove fuck your it up dick into the so cake. <laughs> so Sapphire Whoops. puts you to work chopping vegetables for a stew, directing you to a broad wooden cutting board and baskets of white, orange, and purple tubers. <laughs> you chop them all up into... <laughs> That's the sounds we make. She hates purple tubers so yeah. much. <laughs> you chop them into cubes with the width of your thumb, uh, and then drop them into a bubbling pot over the fire. Good. Cool. <laughs> Good Need job. more whipped cream, says Grisbeck. <laughs> and then you a large Grisbeck bowl. severely underprepared for this wedding. Yeah, Grisbeck was like, yeah, I can do a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Woke under, up that morning, not. oh shit, it's today. <laughs> yeah, under their I am, there. I am not prepared. Stop, oh, fuck, I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hung over his shit. <laughs> like, so trying not to puke into the cake. Like, maintain! Oh. Maintain! Yeah, maintain. <laughs> you sit on a stool and stir the cream until your arm burns. And the white liquid piles up like clouds. Mm. Then Grizzly. White liquid. I don't <laughs> like that like one. Clouds. Cream. It's all frothy. In <laughs> bags. I don't like it. Cream and bags! <laughs> then. <laughs> Chris it Beck. looks like semen. <laughs> <laughs> that it. Uh, then Grisbeck sets you and Jasper to breaking eggs and splitting yolk from the white. All the all while the kitchen bustles around you. I like that you don't have any skill, but they still have you separating egg whites and yolk, which is fucking it's hard really to hard, do. Yeah. yeah. Eighty-six forces. Chopping potatoes, I understand. Right. I'm like you can really not fuck that. It's up. hard to mess this. <laughs> yeah. It's a stew. <laughs> Supposed to look. We're not like seasoning vomit. it or anything. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Think stew looks gross, but it's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, I mean, it, but it's. I mean, it's, yeah, it's literally soon enough. The yeah. dinner, Get everything in there, and cook it up. You know? Oil <laughs> doesn't matter. The dinner has all been prepared. Sapphire wipes down the counters as Jasper does a few dishes, then step back and nods. Grizz back, she says. <laughs> oh. I'll be joining the party now, if you don't mind. Now yeah. yeah, you go ahead then. <laughs> he says, I don't know who is who. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just got here. Fucking <laughs> haunted ventriloquist dummies. Is yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm doing. You go on then, he says, which I think is uh, Sapphire? I don't know. Who's it was the, Jasper. Jasper. Carefully stirring a copper pot of egg custard. Jesus Christ. <laughs> custard. I, I, I just have this cake to finish. Uh, as Sapphire, Sapphire and Jasper dry their hands and leave the kitchen, a raucous roar of celebration comes through the door of, to the common room as it swings open. Oh, a decision making time. Yeah, man. Good. This is short like and sweet. this is like party simulator. <laughs> yeah, it's party well, simulator. All these like this George R. 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 Martin just... descriptions of food. Yeah, yeah. yeah this it's is just, just like, like such a useless thing. It's like you, you try to help out. Okay, you go and help out. Now you're gonna go back to the party because all these options are just go back. To it's the not party. like a choose your own yeah. adventure. Like you show up to the party. What do you do? Get a cup of punch. Do some e. <laughs> like have yeah. a conversation with the person. At least those lead somewhere. But yeah. this is like Talk go to politics. the party, but don't. But either watch children, yeah. leave, or chop potatoes and not interact <laughs> with anybody. So what do you guys think? Return to the party with Sapphire is one. Join Jasper with Penny uh, and Malachite. Mal- Malachite. 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 Is it like a rock? It's a top yeah. 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 They're all named after rocks. Don't know rocks. Sapphire. Oh, Jasper. Oh, Jasper. Miriam is isn't a rock. Miriam's no. middle name is like Emerald. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's real DG. Like the rock piece. Malachi is like financial success and success in business is its meaning. Or we can stay and help Grizz back in the kitchen. <laughs> Super appropriate for a toddler. <laughs> a toddler that stares. I don't know. Who do yeah. we like? And Sapphire? can't wave. An idiot child. <laughs> Sapphire, Jasper, or Grizzback? Who do we like? Grizzback probably, right? He's the baker. Yeah. We can help him make his cake. 
Because he's fucking drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, because he's hammered. <laughs> yeah, and he needs the most help. He's not, a, he's not uh, 100% fuck. positive this is actually uh, happening. Right now. We just want to make sure that he doesn't fuck his business over irrelevantly. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, he just, when he gets a second to himself, he's like, I'm so glad my dad's dead because I'm such a disappointment. <laughs> oh my fucking god. He's drinking like Pedialyte. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I need electrolytes. <laughs> And like, there's a he just does constantly crying for help. <laughs> Everyone's just like, "Cool, Chris Bay. Oh, <laughs> that's our Chris Bay. That's <laughs> our Chris Bay. And he's like, "Just someone fucking help me!" <laughs> no, you guys some serious. I'm out of control. Just, we know, bro. You're yeah, so out of control. You're the coolest <laughs> chef. I'm just like, just stay in the fucking kitchen right now. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Uh, I guess he's I... trying to beat a case so... of the runny shit. Like, yeah. He's so oh, he's really, like holding it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta finish. Every once in a while he just stops. <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> like he doesn't sleep. He just sits on his bed and stares. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like, yeah, hey, he's alright. This party better be over soon. I gotta shotgun one out like a man. Right. I imagine he goes in standby. Standby mode. Stand like oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna. Let's stay in the kitchen and help Chris oh, back because back. somebody needs to. Let's whip right. some white liquid into yeah. clouds. Mm, yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Make some egg custard. <laughs> Plus, I just kind of want to hear In this hot as fuck kitchen. Uh, it's. What is it? 3933. You clear away a few more dishes while Grisbeck gets his custard just right. Then you both converge on the nearly done wedding cake. It wibbles and wobbles somewhat in its dish, <laughs> towering above oh, yeah. you. He's fucked up. Yeah. He's like in those baking competitions where they don't put dowels in the cake <laughs> yeah. and it like all starts to yeah. leak. <laughs> it's like doing the yakety sax music. <laughs> 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 it's like it's 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 he's swaying with the cake. <laughs> Looks fine. <laughs> there are two cakes, right? <laughs> nah, man, just one. Not bro. I am beginning to wonder if I've had fox myself, murmurs Grisbeck. No. Hey, she doesn't like drunks. Nope. Uh, reeking of alcohol, setting his <laughs> custard aside. Moving this confection into the common room may prove difficult. If story point Q5 is marked... Especially if he's got it the DTs. It is not. Yeah. Um, Shaky as fuck. Otherwise, four, two, three, five. <laughs> he's seeing his dead dad in the corner. <laughs> Are you proud of me, dad? Look at the cake I made. He just goes, thank <laughs> <"Hey>, <laughs> <laughs> Working together, you and Grisbeck, the drunkest, spoon the custard over the wobbling sponge cake Wait, and wobbling. adorn it. With berries and edible flowers. So they just Flesh covered berries. the cake in custard? That's gross. <laughs> they didn't yeah. even put it between the layers. They're like, whatever. Just dump it on the top. It's like gravy. It'll be fine. Put some whipped cream on Throw it. Throw some berries. fucking berries it's on rustic. it. It's rustic. It's rustic as well. What do you guys want to eat today? Custard. These gravy. fucking gnomes don't know it's what like a good cake is. Like, it's a very sh- it. shabby chic cake <laughs> look. Um, it attracts flies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we don't usually, oh wait, we don't usually go, wait, no, he's drunk. We don't usually go for such displays in the Dunwar Mountains, says Grisbeck as you work. A pie, perhaps, or some sweet bread. He stands back, studying the dessert. Eventually you're done and the cake is ready. (laughs) Read entry 9972. Hang on, isn't a sweet bread, isn't that like... Like brains? Yeah, Yeah, I think so. Some kind of meat, meat right? It's, right? Sweet bread's like uh, organ meat, right? Organ meat, yeah. 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 It's like, because it's also intestines and stuff, too, sometimes. It's, mm. it's all of the so he wanted is to, cake. He wanted to shove fucking pig guts in that cake. Yeah, yeah. pig guts and brain yeah. pig guts. <laughs> it is flesh berries. It's like the trifle that Jesus. Rachel makes in Friends. Yeah, yeah. trifle! <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't supposed to put beef in the trifle. <laughs> no, you weren't. It was not good. <laughs> All the pages are stuck together. Chandler! It's an improvised joke, by the way. Fun Seven fact. Seven, two. Oh, my God. 
Like, these are, these are like, cut into little sections for no reason. Right, just to make you yeah, yeah. jump Turn. around the book. With utmost care, you and Grisbeck carry the towering cake from the kitchen out to the common room. Dripping with custard and brains. <laughs> and, like, flies. <laughs> trapped in There's the custard. There's a fucking scorpion stuck in there. Struggling against the, the, the custard. Fingerprints, like, where they, enough. like, grabbed the plate yeah. and the bottom layer of the cake. Divots where he sweated profusely into the custard. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> A hush spreads across the room as you move, followed by a wave of rippling applause. Can we add rippling to the list, yes. Katie? Um, Throngs. Grisbeck beams and grins as you settle the dessert on the bridal table. Oh my, says Braxton. That looks, uh, incredible. <laughs> uh, well, it's good oh enough wow. to eat, chirps Miriam. Chirps. That is so merry. And you're hit with a wave of halitosis. <laughs> 9087. That's so merry. It's like a fish farted in your face. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, Could finally. Could think we used a group on for this one. <laughs> finally, we get to decisions time. Yeah. Um, but after a really long paragraph. Solid. Um. With dinner finally served in full, the guests all settle down into their seats and begin to eat. Sapphire stands up on her chair and welcomes everyone, including those poor innocent passerby who thought they were just coming in for a normal evening, instead are being subjected to the wailings of a moron. <laughs> you know, weird smelling cake. Good news, she says, is that you eat free tonight and all you have to do is suffer through some, a few toasts. Chuckles spread through the crowd, which turned to sighs of terror as Sapphire looks down at her nieces and smiles. Miriam and Bre- Oh, God. I gotta suffer for my art. Yep. Miriam and Braxton are embarking on one of the greatest of life journeys, and they're doing it together. Seeing the joy they bring to each other, I can't imagine anything different except unless she had married one of her own kind. Cough, cough, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> a, a chuckle ripples. <laughs> yes, a a tourist chuckle. Um, she raises a glass of sparkling wine from a box. A gesture echoed across the room. To marry Ruston, she calls. May their journey together be long and never boring. Mm. More toast follows from Hiram, from Miriam herself. Even Isaac, slightly tipsy, stands to say a few words. Your focus, however, is on the food. For I am Garfield, <laughs> consumer of everything. Of worlds. The thickening. <laughs> Hashtag thickening. <laughs> Steaming roast duck. Crisp greens dressed in oil and vinegar. <laughs> Rich brown bread with soft goat cheese. <laughs> Stewed vegetables fragrant with lemon tinged spices. A traditional gnomish flatbread of milled corn and peppers. <laughs> <laughs> the food seems to never end. And it fills you with warmth and joy. And future shit. Yeah. Yeah. You, Calm down, bro. Heart burn. <laughs> you recover two stamina, which is good because I forgot to take away one stamina from whatever dancing we did. Yeah. Wait, minus two or what? Yeah, yeah, plus two. two. Yeah, plus not, two. Not past your maximum, though. Um, mark one progress in social practice. Oh, it's from full. eating. We're already well. social as fuck. Time passes. All right. Eventually, you and everyone else are full. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> can't, cannot fill the void of Garfield. At that point, you're just eating paper napkins. <laughs> to to she, like, just gnawing through, yeah. like, children. Yeah. Yeah. Um, eating sections of the floor. Where <laughs> did Mal go? <laughs> like, in... In Garfield is just a gravity well. Just like a wee voice calling out from the stomach of Garfield, like, hey, it's me. <laughs> um, some leave the swan off to tend to their own business elsewhere, while others cluster into groups as tables are cleared away. Sapphire and Isaac take seats by the fire, 
sipping mulled wine and reminiscing about the past. Miriam and Hiram dragged Braxton to a nearby table, promising to tell her about all their favorite game their wait, about their favorite game they played as children. It was called Who Can Shriek the Loudest and Most Sustained. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper and Grisbeck share a bottle of mead as they watch their children run shrieking through the room, chasing each other around. Now we choices. <laughs> Join Miriam Braxton and Hiram for a game. Uh, <laughs> sit with Sapphire and Isaac and talk. Uh, Watch the children with Grisbeck and Jasper. Leer at the children. <laughs> at least their parents are there and it's not just six of us like hanging out at a Chuck E. Right, Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like the writer's trying Which to hit. Which kids are? Like, it's, oh, it's, none of them. It's come up three times now. I feel like they're like, if we watch the children, we're going to like pizza. find yeah. something about the children. I'm just here for the pizza. Like they don't have souls. The child is like, <laughs> here is the key. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, <laughs> just sitting in the ball pit. Uh, you can return to your room for a while. No, no we gotta stay. We yeah. gotta do something. So, or leave the swan. No. We gotta tough Mary this out. Miriam, Braxton. Do we wanna play games? Do we wanna listen to fucking terrible stories? Or look at children? Or do you wanna or stare at children? <laughs> Kinda. I mean, not because... <laughs> look, yeah, it's leer at the children. It's for the plot. Um, Guys, I mean, we're only doing it for the plot. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Read entry five eight Let's get eight a three. Full beer and go sit and watch some kids play. Yeah, <laughs> just prop it up on our bellies. You like yeah. pull eyeballs? Well, it's like, right. That's the other thing. It's is not even a glass eye. Like Garfield just tears part of his face <laughs> off. Just like dangling optic nerve. <laughs> Dim understanding of, of humans. He's like he's like children like eyeballs. You take eyeballs. <laughs> you now have eyeballs. Just, take eyeball this toy. Like slowly ripping it out. Yeah. Just like ah, kissing the whole time. Yeah. Just small children <laughs> have eyeballs. <laughs> Garfield like, give you an eyeball <laughs> like lasagna. I like that it's like Garfield that has a vaguely like, Eastern European. Yeah. Like, <laughs> where did Garfield, Garfield came from? Like Siberia. Yeah. Baby like eyeball. Yeah, Trained in some sort of work camp. This Monday, no? Puppy. Ooh. She's so fussy. Ooh, she, she growls. Stop she it. bare teeth. She's being very annoying. Uh. Apparently the number one. Yeah, she's not a finger. Fuck that what about shit. About two. <laughs> no, she likes that. Uh, no, no, two is no. okay. Two, eight, five, but one. Oh, wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what was what? One eight, is eight. unacceptable. One five. Four five. Four five. Mm, it's got. It's the one with. Uh, eight eight four five. Are we watching children? We are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah here we go. Eight eight seven three. Because Grisbeck is the is the one right. for kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Nope. It's all right. I think we're passing it, right? Oh. Because um, you just made the decision. Yeah. Right. Eight eight seven three. Eight eight seven eight eight three. Grisbeck waves at you as you approach. Hi. To be sure, he says, I'm very happy to be welcoming these two fine ladies as my neighbors. <laughs> he grins as Penny races I'm by. <laughs> I got no, a couple drinks in me, and my hand stopped shaking. I forgot he was drunk. <laughs> yeah. um, the hair of the dog. <laughs> he grins and slurps as Penny races <laughs> by. <laughs> by a you can do one or the other. Young. <laughs> he grins and slurps as a child runs by. <laughs> His other one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the perv pen over here watching a bunch of kids oh, play. Sapphire was one of the first to welcome us when we came into town, you know. We stayed at the Swan for the first few days before I bought the bakery. Miss Sapphire always made us feel at home, and her niece is cut from the same seam, and her young lady both. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you ask about Grisbeck's own wedding. He sighs and strokes his beard. Oh. Oh. Slurping and stroking. Don't. <laughs> Slurping and stroking, watching him <laughs> kiss. Oh, it was a beautiful thing. 
We uh, had to get married in a hurry, if you catch my understanding. Jesus. We barely finished our wedding gifts in time. What? She Shotgun wedding. Popped out a kid while yeah, we were opening gifts. Yeah, my yeah, water no. broke. We have to get married. <laughs> yeah. right. Shit! Quick, unwrap the toaster. Scala. <laughs> you didn't think yeah, this was a baby? Like, yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he pops out from behind a bush. He's the always wedding. waiting. Yeah. Scala. The wedding. <laughs> Did somebody say wedding? <laughs> it's the only thing I do. <laughs> wedding. <laughs> I made her a lovely ring. For her hair out of gold what <laughs> and marked with runes from both our families and set with stones me cousin cut ah i'm no smith to speak of but i think it turned out all right she forged me a knife folded steel worked bronze on the handle a i am a disappointment piece. to everyone in my life <laughs> i still have it back at the bakery he chuckles and looks up at the willow trees spreading their branches above you. she die? We married in the hall of the ancestors. It turned into apples. apples. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Tis a lovely chamber, chamber, tall vaulted ceilings, light wells. Why do we need to know this? Shining down upon the statues. Uh, when we jumped in the fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> we self-immolated post-wedding. Yeah. That's how she died. But she's the only one that went through with it. Her oh body God. burned into a flesh cocoon I around am. her unborn child. <laughs> her skin. And she stayed that way in for nine months. We had to use a bean hocker to get her out. Luckily, it was bean week. I remember the smell of her caramelized skin. <laughs> okay, hang on. When we jumped the fire, okay. our families cheered and the whole hall rang with the sound of it. He nods down at, at the gaily colored caravan. This is nice, too. Read entry 3060. I think we're at the wrong entry. Yeah, that felt... I was yeah. talking about trees and now I'm talking about a caravan. I'm going to read entry 3069 anyway. <laughs> Did we lose the thread here? I think we lost the thread. What was the... We were at nine... Let's just check. Cause should we been a, Should we yeah, have been... Yeah, it was like eight we were, nine, we, were at the, nine, we were at the swan, right? Okay, so 9087. I, th I think I've got the... Pathway. Drunken hug. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Oh, nine zero. So we just right. listened to his yeah. sad drug. Sit with. We were gonna watch the children with. Watch five eight eight three. Five eight eight three. What did I do? Eight eight seven. Oh wow! I was yeah. way off. Wow. <laughs> that was a five. 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 You were five's five. like an eight. <laughs> you just make a line. Yeah. Exactly. I'm. I'm not so great at math. <laughs> five eight. Wait, shit. Five. Five eight eight three. Eight eight three. Yeah. Eight two. Two. Eight. Don't tell me more numbers. I can't. Two. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying Excellent. to make your... Sorry about that. It's That's okay. We read. learned all about we Grisbeck. We learned a little bit more about Grisbeck's and how terrible sad life. He is. I you... never quite figured out what happened to his wife. Yeah. Which is, I thought that was just such a weird time to talk about that. I mean, like, I mean but like, if you're drunk and thinking about yeah. like, and jumped in the fire, <laughs> I couldn't save her. <laughs> My hands were too slippery. I'm a disappointment. Okay. What it reminds uh, me of the day my wife burned to death. <laughs> and that's not even what happened. Oh but in our heads God. forever, it will be. <laughs> You pull up a chair to sit near Grisbeck and Jasper, and moments later, Penny and Mal climb into the seat next to yours. <laughs> she sets a broad, flat <laughs> slab of slate on the table in front of the toddler and then, blah, 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 and then places a few pieces of chalk on top of it. Together... Here, play with this rock. Yeah. Together, they begin to draw. <laughs> yeah, okay. I Fucking remember hurts. when Penny was wee, sighs Grisbeck. So much has changed since then, but it still feels like yesterday. That my wife burned to death. <laughs> I like that we're going to hear this story out of order, because I'm pretty sure it's one of those things where they cut up the one story into three different smaller yeah. entries. Yeah. Well, we have a decision to make in a, in a second. Oh, okay. I can only imagine, says Jasper. 
Wait, what was the voice we were doing for Jasper? I don't know why we settled on one. No, I, th- I threw a British so, guy in the yeah. mix. <laughs> Fargo so. accent. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine, <laughs> says Jasper. He's already gotten, he's already grown so fast, changed so much in the short time I've known my son. <laughs> nice. He didn't even know his son for the first year. He missed the whole good, fucking yeah, uh, son accent. They clink their glasses together. <laughs> to the children, they say at once. Um, so we can watch the children and chat with the adults some more, or we can draw with Penny and Malachite. So I'm guessing Keep chatting with the adults the is what we gets us to the next one, the right? Poster? I don't know. No, 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 I feel like these kids. I'm with Abe. I feel like this is trying to get us it's, to hang out with the kids. Such, yeah, yeah, it's keeps, such a nonsense thing, and everything is like talking in circles. Though. Well, the fact that it's we even only, met Malachi, like, and it was a moment. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna staring at her. We're gonna Maybe start drawing with Malachi, and he's gonna open his mouth, and the voice of a forty-year-old man is gonna come out. Yeah, eyes roll back into his head. Or the kids. He just starts drawing runes and dead people. Right, and right. Shit. Exactly. And he's moving very fast. <laughs> yeah, auto-writing. He draws he's the omen. eventual death. He's Damien. <laughs> okay, we're going to draw with Penny and Malachi. Okay. Uh, read entry 7993. Give him a drag eyeball. Because those are sick. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about you. Actually, no. I'll draw, I'll draw one of these. 993, okay. Here you go. You help yourself to a spare slate. That you, you know, pull we just out have of your ass <laughs> and some chalk and begin drawing. Penny glances over at your work and edges her chair closer. I can help you if you like, she says. I am an expert. Oh, fuck. Bitch, I'm Martha Stewart. <laughs> if you have craftsmanship or performance, I do not. Of course, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner does, does not have, have performance. performance. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, read entry 4495. Sorry. Nope, he sure doesn't. I just want to look at your skills, and it's just nine entries of Waterworld. <laughs> I'm ready Swimming. for Waterworld. Skills. I mean, that is my passion. It's I, made I like plans. that Kevin Costner is the one, like, just crouching down by the children, like, so what are you drawing there, kids? Yeah, he's like a good dad. You're like, oh, this is what you're meant to do. Why are you running around with us? You know, I once was Superman's dad. <laughs> Wait, you're drawing me. Put some more hair. Yeah. On put, some hair. put you know I have a 35 year old's head of hair because I'm 35 years old. Uh, <laughs> you, Mal, and Pe- Penny draw happily on your slates. After a while, you've put together enough basic squares, rectangles, and triangles to make sure. This is what I drew. It's a cat. <laughs> it's good. It's a kitty. To make what you think are reasonable facsimiles of the Swan and the Hearthstone Bakery. That's a good cat, but it could be a lot more muscular. This is true. <laughs> Look, says Penny, showing you her strange winged creature. You compliment her on her dragon, which makes her sigh. Also this. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's so dope. You gotta draw some of those on some of my on some of my nice, folders. Nice, 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 nice. Wait, nice, let nice. me make the Stussy tight, into tight, tight. I'm gonna make a Stussy into a cat. <laughs> Well, Do you draw right that on my binder? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she, which makes her sigh. Tis a unicorn, she exclaims. What have ye done? You show her, and then at her dubious look explain that you've drawn the swan in the bakery. If that's so, why are they right next to each other, she asks. The bakery's around the corner from here. Silly. Mal shows you his drawing, <laughs> a collection of scribbles and vague shapes. <laughs> I don't Malachite's uh, haunted. Yeah. Yeah, he just starts doing like spirit writing, like in a sixth sense. Like, rolling his eyes back into his head. Yeah. child is touched. Penny, he says. Why does she hate? All right. Which yeah. makes the girl squeal and cuddle him fiercely to her. 74 Fierce cuddling. Red. <laughs> that is red. A call goes up from the crowd for dessert, and to general cheers, Miriam and Braxton no, rise. This fucking cake. <laughs> <laughs> I say as I scoop my own stomach out of my open pants. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring your cake pants, an amateur. <laughs> I'm ready for cake. <laughs> My oh. pants have elastic in them. Oh. Uh, 
I, I'm wearing a jogging suit and sunglasses. It makes me less nauseous if I hold my own. If you hold stomach. your belly, dude. It's fine. <laughs> Just. I'm really happy that people are on this live stream. Because <laughs> see me holding and my Katie own belly. I think I get I ready mean, to watch some wrestling. I mean, my my <laughs> my black shirt is covered in hair and tongue fur, like. Like, it's just peels away and there's just fur. Yeah, I'm scared to bring a lint brush because I'm pretty sure it'll be sentient. <laughs> it will it's become like, a second dog. It's like, nice Angora shirt. <laughs> Alright. Um, do, do, do. Sapphire rushes forward with a silver serving knife as Braxton lifts Miriam up to stand on a chair. Why is she running with a knife? Because they're going <laughs> to slash Miriam's throat. Because they're oh. stupid. The brides each place a hand on the knife, and then together they cut into the custard and cake dessert to much cheering. That's custard. melting. Fucking it's melting. custard. They cut through several flies and. <laughs> it has a layer fingers, of organ meat bread to your marks. Bread. There's a leg sticking out. <laughs> yeah, just a cricket leg. Just... <laughs> Braxton carefully serves her wife with a first forkful of cake, but when Miriam returns the favor, she smears a trail of cream across Braxton's of she nose. Fucking nose. Fucking yeah, smearing. I'm like, sure Braxton was like, hey, I don't want to do the cake smushing thing. Can we like, not? And Mary I, was like, sure. Sure. Cake smushing cake smushing cake. It in her mouth. I love you, honey, but can you just not eat in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the crowd hoots as Braxton gasps, lifts the gnome up with one hand, and returns and the favor with a big smash. Smash her. her. <laughs> just shook <laughs> slam. <laughs> <laughs> Her spine goes through her bra at the bottom. Just, and then like tries to stretch to like play it off as like, the, like oops. And, and the whole gnome family is just staring horn fun. In muted amazement. An array of her gnome family. <laughs> right. Grisbeck and Sapphire serve out the dessert, the hideous, gross, stomach-turning dessert, as the two brides clean up, and then a raucous cry of speech, speech, erupts from the crowd. Why would anybody want that to happen? I don't know. They must not know them very well. Um, all right, you animals, calls Miriam, climbing atop a table. No, says Braxton, touching Miriam's back. She turns and Braxton smiles. Let me say a few words. Braxton steps forward, and you realize that somewhere along the way, she traded her armor for a generous floor-length gown. How did you not notice that? Armor know. and a gown are two very different We've things. been staring intently at these children. Children, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, what you drawing there, child? What are you drawing? What are you drawing? Huh? You like the scratches um, at your collar? Do you like the scratches? Uh, she looks every inch the blushing bride as she looks down at the floor and takes a deep breath. I don't love speaking in front of crowds, she manages, to general chuckles. But I do love Miriam. Lord knows why. I fight and I risk my life, but that isn't courage, or it isn't for me. It's just what I know and what I do. I've never been afraid to die, but I think that before I met Miriam, I was afraid to live. <laughs> I was afraid on, to Braxton. ask for happiness in my life, for anything beyond duty, beyond the fight. So I wanted to thank Miriam and all of you for giving me the courage to live. Oh, she drops her eyes to the floor again, I know, Jesus. Calm down, like her right. cheeks. You yeah. have to do that. Settle down. To get friends. Like, we would have been your friends without you getting married. Yeah. We probably would have been better friends if we wouldn't have been avoiding her this whole time. Just yeah. I just covered all the dog hair with a sweater. <laughs> uh, if that's all right with you. She turns to Miriam, whose eyes overflow with tears. Miriam chokes and sputters and, and shits and boogers. <laughs> snot bubble. Yeah, snot yeah, bubble. Just ones. ugly cries. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! With the face only a mother could well. Not, not even. <laughs> and finally calls out, My wife, everybody, came back and ever and breaks down. My wife. My wife. My wife. <laughs> Ever and Brightstone, time to figure out a new family name already of Dragonhold. Hands off, he's mine. A roar and great stamping of feet goes up from Fuck, the crowd. Man. Jesus. Yeah, excuse me while I hunk a boom. <laughs> now, excuse and me while I climb up inside this <laughs> Sorry, I'm choking on my spit. <laughs> it's because I've got a short throat. Yeah, I've got a short throat. <laughs> she changed you out of her armor, so I've got to use your accent. <laughs> you know That's that one part in Pacific Rim where, like, the, the, the child... 
kaiju comes out of the mom kaiju and like chokes on its umbilical cord. Yeah. That's what I imagine is constant state of life for this person. <laughs> Just ever choking. Ah, ah, asking for air that it can't even breathe. All right, Miriam hurls herself into Braxton's arms and everyone tucks into their dessert. <laughs> Just climbed. <laughs> Everyone pulls the dessert up to their chin. I'm gonna bust your shit. I'm gonna tell her honey, I'm gonna climb you like a jungle gym. <laughs> oh, why why would you use a child's metaphor? <laughs> I bought an industrial sized bucket of lubricant. <laughs> We're gonna go slip sliding around that bathtub. We're gonna grease me up like a pair of bacon. <laughs> and then Ron Howard says over narration. She's made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Yours has a si- thick slab of cake shot through with currants, drowning in custard oh, and Jesus. cream. But the language is covered with so sweet gross. red and blueberries. I, and they like mean it to be like yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want want this. poetic. I'm not drowning eating this in... fucking cake. Yeah. Yeah. Custard and cream. <laughs> Smeared, drowning. Lukewarm. It's sponge cake with custard. Yeah. What the that's gross. Various <laughs> creams mingling on your plate. Yeah, swirling <laughs> together. Some fucking currants and like <laughs> berries and shit. Thick and heady cream. Yeah. Clotted. Clotted <laughs> cream. Ham <laughs> thickly sliced. <laughs> Slices of brown bread mm. pressed into the outside Luke of the cake. Warm old deli <laughs> milk sucking up. Poured, milk poured on every surface. It's difficult to get down, but you do it. <laughs> but really somehow it the bread was gooey. <laughs> it's sweet without being overwhelming and refreshing on your tongue. I don't, oh, know. I don't believe Fucking it. Fucking get away. <laughs> Just like, run. This is what's bad about pent-up you sexuality. You drink that cream yeah. down. We gotta get this author fucked so yeah. we yeah, can like, kind of like, move on. You ever write, like, a, a thing and then have someone call you and be like, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah like, fine. Do I know you? No. No, but I know you. <laughs> we should write her a letter. We should. Be like, do you need help? Do you need help? <laughs> like, there are some... online communities for those of your pers- persuasion. <laughs> For people like yourself. Um, and far too soon, it's gone. And the party is over. The celebration continues on the village green, calls Sapphire, oh, waving God, people out the door. Another bonfire tonight! Yeah. God, They're gonna yeah. burn some books! <laughs> <laughs> You're right, right. Just- Throw gnomes in the fucking fire. Yeah. Uh, gnomes and, and copies of like <laughs> Plato's Alcorn. <laughs> like, Wait, wh- why are we doing this? The gnomes are like, we like it. <laughs> <laughs> you like me throwing in the fire? Yeah. <laughs> it's better than choking on my spit all the time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Life is gruel. Chris Beck is like, I remember when we threw my wife into the fire. <laughs> my wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. <laughs> Uh, time passes, this encounter is complete. So. Well, Village Green, right? Village Green, I guess. We're following oh, this yeah. fucking wedding. Party with these tools. <laughs> like, or we could just, we could find the cat and be that person at the party, just just hugging the cat and find the, the animal. Yeah. We're all hugging Garfield because we're bored. Yeah. Garfield is like, just like. Going around to all of the town's children offering eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, where's that lady? Let's we don't know her. where he yeah, got them. She's let's, dope. let's go party with the lady who pops her and she's like, like, She seems like fun. Yeah. Because she yeah. clearly does not give a fuck. No, she's beyond, <laughs> beyond caring. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get a choice. Ooh. A bonfire burns at the edge of the green. Surrounded by chattering crowds of villagers and gnomes, just gleefully throwing an entire library's worth of history into the bonfire. <laughs> a large band of gnomes and humans is swaying their way through a variety of folk songs. <laughs> just listening to Bob Dylan. Listen to Lady Lay. <laughs> They're listening to some fish. <laughs> some carbon leaf. 
Yep. <laughs> Just all the fucking old man gnomes are like jamming with each other. James Taylor. <laughs> James Taylor. Um, do, 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 do. Alternating between the two traditions and learning as they go. The dancers, a mixture of visiting gnomes and Dragonhold villagers, are likewise teaching one another dances to go with the music. Among the dancers, the newlyweds Braxton and Miriam are radiant, although the flowers in their hair are becoming somewhat tattered. You can also see Sapphire, Jasper, Grisbeck, and Penny intermingled among the crowd. Resting against the paddock, you see Scala, the orc shrine attendant, watching and smoking his pipe. So we're going to have to go hang out with one of these. The we can join mentioned. the crowd in song and dance. Yeah, smoke some weed with Scala. We yeah. can talk with Scala about Dragon Ball's traditions, or we can leave. Shrimps. <laughs> yeah, we decide to do that now. I dance. Why not? You gonna dance again? Right. We did already do that today, and it was exhausting. Yeah, That's true. I kind of don't want to dance. We could talk to Scala. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what Scala's... What's up, Scala? See if he's got the good kush. <laughs> All right, that's going to be... Christian, 5045. 50-45. You set yourself down on the edge of the paddock next to, him, to, next to the old orc, who nods his head as you approach. An ancient tradition, he says, nodding toward the fire. Who can say when it began, or why? Because we keep burning all the fucking books! <laughs> yeah, we have no history. <laughs> then what I say! I'm king, by the way. <laughs> it's said that these, tri- that these celebrations are to invite the blessings of the spirits on the village. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Where are you? It's a trap. On the village and all who gather here. He grins his thick, heavy teeth white in the half darkness. Jesus. Said by me Fifth every teeth. week when I light the fire. Who knows? It might even be true. What? So he's just bullshitting. Yeah, we literally don't know their history because they keep burning all the books. <laughs> we, we were right about yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. They're dumb. Okay, we're, we can respond, if anyone knows, shouldn't it be you? And how far back does the tradition go? We can respond with one of those. I guess, I mean, we can either Sarcasm fucking or... <laughs> dunk on the man. That's easy character. Dunk I feel like we've man. also had enough to drink tonight that yeah. we're probably like ready to start some shit. Okay, yeah. it's 7502. Yeah, some shade. Okay. Uh, 7502. Uh, I can't do that voice. <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. go back to the mail yeah. You might think that might, might it you? Oh, fuck you. Concedes the old ark. He takes a long, slow drag on his pipe, then blows yeah, sweet smelling smoke out into the air. <laughs> the tooth of the meadow is complicated. <laughs> the spirits are powerful beings. Ha! That's not strictly true. Some spirits are as powerful and ancient as the forest itself, others are ephemeral. I'm so sleepy. Okay. Oh, no, that was good. Okay. Woo. Uh, brief things that wiv but for the space of a candle's flame. Oh, a bonfire. <laughs> oh, 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 this shit is good. You see that bonfire? I, you see I it thought it was daytime. Uh, he chuckles and strokes at his long braided beard on his chin. It's not just long, it's been braided. It's this braided. Long. Oh, yeah, yeah it's like, braided. It's okay. a special occasion. Yeah, braid the beard. Uh, I can, it's got like beads and things. I was going to say, it's got like the spring break beads in it. Yeah. <laughs> I can say that this ritual is not displeasing to the spirit, and some may feel it pulsing through the world as regular and changeable as the seasons. As the spirits. Pulsing. Pulsing. Pulsing thickly. Mm-hmm. Pulsing. Just throbbing. And cram. 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 Get in there, cool. gnomes. Get in there, gnomes. We can fit two more gnomes in here. Get in there. Occupancy 200. I don't need you. Okay, the spirits, like the seasons, they wipe things that live in the world and all of it. Some spirits, they are just people who haven't given up on the world yet. I suppose you might call them ghosts. 
<laughs> we might. We might. Skull reaches out and claps you on the shoulder. <laughs> anyway. He's like, bye. Anyway, uh, I'm enjoy. high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, what a great day. Anyway, there's ghosts. Anyway, there's <laughs> ghosts. Yes. ghosts. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Enjoy the bonfire and don't worry too much about the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> And don't worry too much about the spirits. They don't worry about you. Mm. Fuck, man. Mm. to make me feel better. Laughing. Now I can't sleep. He walks off into the night like a fucking maniac. Howling with progress in spiritual meditation, which we already have maxed out. You got that maxed. Time passes. Yeah, it does. And this encounter is complete. We have one more time to pass before this day ends. Ephemero. So. <laughs> Ephemero. <laughs> okay. You need to pick a place. I need to pick a place. Pick a place. What's the name of that Femoral. guy? That... Welcome Scala. to Baby Town. Scala and Scala. Scala was the. He's like a priest. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the shrine. At the shrine. At the shrine. And, and self-proclaimed <laughs> king. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the king of this I'm town. I'm the king of this town. <laughs> Did no one tell you? <laughs> what? Where? Scala is now behind the whole murder. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I'm the king of the spirits. I'm the puppet master. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I loved you my way of game. <laughs> Would you like to play? <laughs> so, okay. I kind of, like, I don't know where. I don't know. Right? Wait, it's what was late, the place so with could, five? Like, a... What was the one that we had to go to with five times? Oh, uh, I think that was the Village Green. Oh, okay. Village Green. Yeah, we can look to that out. yeah, I think we're. How uh... about? We could go to a bar or something. We could go... I don't know why the Fairfax Manor. I want to like go back. There. I kind of want to like go start some shit. Yeah, like isn't that where like where? That's where the dying lady and the mad dog. Yeah, let's go to the place that like people hate us because now we're a little <laughs> drunk and we're just yeah. like. Shall, <laughs> right? Shall, Shall we like get okay. like pound cool? on the door, Rochelle? Why are you being such a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> like, you you killed my brother. <laughs> but I mean, like, we cool. I didn't like me. We, but we, we found him. We yeah. tried. We brought him back. Uh -huh. <laughs> just say yes. Just say yes. Okay, Fairfax Manor. So. Day five. Four less time has passed today, which we did. It is. Oh, Fairfax Manor, day four, day five. Day right? five. Yeah. The serving girl. I want to talk in that voice all the time. The <laughs> serving girl, Matilda, answers the door and ushers you into the great hall. She peers through the door behind you, shakes her head, and closes the door. Too many gnomes, she murmurs. Nice. Oh, fucking bitch. Too many and gnomes. Gestures to the <laughs> Too many. It's like when I honked in a lift a week ago, and my driver immediately told me that he was like, I had a gay passenger who tried to, like, make me gay. He tried to convert me. I was like, why are you telling me? Like, yeah. why, why is this the I'm first thing buddy. out of your mouth? What are you You're doing, bro? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, too many gnomes, she murmurs racistly and then gestures to the garden. Miss Salise is in the garden if you'd like to see her. So I'm guessing we're going to go see Salise. Yeah. Sure. Join Salise in the garden. Read entry 9839. Dope, dope, dope. 9839. 9839. 9839. Mm. Your Jetson. <laughs> Your case is bugs. Okay, 9839. Who's Matilda? Matilda's the servant, servant lady. Girl. Right. Who's racist, apparently. Yeah, yeah she hates Oh, Matilda knows. leads you through the back door and into the hedge maze beyond the garden. Uh, you find we're drunk and we're way too drunk for this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sitting beneath a tall oak tree in the center of the maze, her legs crossed and her eyes closed. And we're stumbling upon her and interrupting what is obviously yeah. her meditation. Please, yeah, please, 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 please. Who wanted to talk to you? Hey, girl, it's just hey, you got her. Hey. See dog, see dog, see dog. She's being a real bitch to us. Uh, so this is no, but like we have friend. some information. Oh, we have yeah. some information for you because like Scala says there are ghosts, so like the kid is probably yeah. around here somewhere. Also, I'm pretty man. sure that like, guy murdered people. <laughs> what, if, uh, what if we set like a ghost trap and like caught the prince and like brought his Ghost what back. if it's a trap that you like kick and then it opens and there's like and the a ghost. thing and then the ghost gets sucked and you close it. See, we got ideas. We got ideas. <laughs> yeah, that we should. Hey, Sweet. 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 I got a, I got a good. I got a good clue for you. It's just like let one rip. <laughs> <laughs> and then like. 
a minute later, crying like my mom now. <laughs> She's like the best lady. I just want to help. We just wanted to help when he died, and it wasn't. Our fault. It was kind of our fault because we took some time to make $50. Just trying to kill some goblins. Just trying to kill some goblins. We were trying to help. Just trying to make some money. Kill and some goblins. He's mad at us. Uh, it's like it's like nighttime and it's we're in the garden so Garfield and she's shit. just <laughs> meditating at night. What the fuck is your deal? Yeah. She says she likes to come out here to commune with nature. <laughs> That's Matilda. That's Matilda. <laughs> Whispers Matilda. <laughs> Then she creeps away as quietly as she can manage, but fails because she's horrible. Uh, you approach. Tripping and farting and away sleaze, back inside. Sleaze cocks her head, but does not rise. Decision, meditate or share your suspicions about the Fairfax household? We've already done that. Have we? Yeah, yeah. It requires P8 to be marked. Oh, P8 is marked. So, should we just meditate? We should have a lot of us. <laughs> they're swaying, sweating. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, where's the bathroom? Oh. Yeah, okay, 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 so good, I got it, got it, got it. Jeez. I, got my I mind. can't get my mind out of my mind. Do you think it's weird how, like, for. For monkeys, their hands is feet, and their feet is hands. <laughs> like, or are they just all hands? Or are they all feet? Bitch Queen has stumbled off to the bathroom and fallen asleep on the toilet. <laughs> He's like, where'd Bitch Queen go? <laughs> There's a line for the bathroom, and you know why, because she's asleep. Celise, there have been so many weddings today, and none of them were mine! <laughs> I was pregnant and pregnant. <laughs> So we're gonna meditate then. Yes. <laughs> Thirty-eight twenty. Try to maintain. I wonder, if, uh, I wonder if sea monies would be down for us. Uh, some shrooms. Probably. Get that meditation I don't know if that right. would mix well. Sleece, the booze, sleece. the pony cake, <laughs> and the custard cake. Sleece, do you want to expand your mind? <laughs> Just wake up in the village green having it's shit like, no. everywhere. I've got a chicken <laughs> finger in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Like, it's it. not a provocation, it's a destination. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen Point Break? <laughs> you settle yourself down into the grass at Lisa's side and mimic her posture. Legs crossed, hands resting lightly on your knees. You close your eyes and do your best to open yourself to nature. <laughs> <laughs> but sleeps are coming. So, <laughs> wait, this is my favorite sentence uh, written so far in this whole story. Somewhere, a dog barks. <laughs> you hear the sounds of the Fairfax household going about their business, calls from the kitchen and complaining of ducks. Complaining of ducks? Getting <laughs> chased from the garden? He's got fucking ducks, ducks. Getting ducks. chased out of this garden, you know what I mean? Ducks. Yeah, it's a fucking piece There's of shit. There's fucking ducks everywhere. Yeah, yeah I fucking hate ducks. this. Ducks. There's ducks in the vents yeah. again. Yeah, I, I like. I fucking hate gnomes and I hate ducks. Okay. I hate two things in this world: it's gnomes and it's ducks. If you got a gnome, ride a duck. Forget about it. One by one, zoop, these sounds fall away from you. You feel as much. Uh, you feel as much as hear the wind. What? You feel as much as hear. You feel as much as hear the wind. The garden's breathing around you. In and in that sound, you feel the shape of the hedges on either side, the quiet strength of the oak. Did at your we back. take the shrooms? <laughs> you feel a bird settle upon your branches, and suddenly your eyes snap open, and you gasp. Mark one progress in spiritual meditation. Oh, okay. Full on spiritual meditation. We became a tree briefly. Uh, what's the least? Yeah. Uh, what's her? What, what's this person's voice? She's. Oh, I don't know. She's just normal. She's just normal. Yeah. Everyone's a fuck. All right. Everyone's this thing. She's not shitty. She's pretty <laughs> just, cool. Meditation. She hid behind a bookshelf for a while. Thank you. Please, <laughs> <laughs> for not disturbing me. She takes a deep breath and turns to look at you. Can I offer you some tea? She stands and leads you to a wooden branch placed against the hedge, with a basket placed upon it. She sits and withdraws a rugged-looking tea service from, a ba from the basket, pointing to a broad clay cup. Uh, we have three things that we can say. What have you been up to since Nericol? 
Like, She's been a tree, clearly. Yeah. What's up, C Span? What you been up to? Yeah. Girl, you up? Uh, <laughs> Girl, you up? <laughs> number two is I have, sp- I have suspicions about someone in the manor. Oh, is this We've just us trying to stop shit and start yeah. shit again? Yeah. And then three, just came to enjoy your company in this tea. So not three. Yeah. The first one. We've already done the second one. We did the second one. Okay. We told her Timothee is a is a yeah. And then we, we, we told her somebody else and she was like, you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely responded Matilda. like, that's not yeah. right. She was going to look into <clears throat> we, somebody. We snitched yeah. on everything. So we asked, what have you been up to since Nara Call? Sure. Celeste wraps, Celeste wraps her delicate elven fingers around the teacup and breathes into the steam. Jesus Christ. Her spider fingers. <laughs> spider fingers. Breath into the steam. I've been doing as little... <laughs> I've been doing as little as possible <laughs> since that business in there. Oh, I look at every, like, 90% of your characters are teamsters. <laughs> like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. What you got about to make that like it's yours? I just like the idea that someone just <laughs> You're like, oh shit, that person's meditating. How you doing? And then it's just like, what up? <laughs> hey, what up, Fry Man? What up, what up, Fry Man? Uh, <laughs> she smiles through the steam at you. Okay. I'm no better. I'm no better uh, at this than you are. I'm afraid. And Nericol, I went to Greyhaven to make use of the libraries there and offer my services as a tutor. I found the city didn't agree with me that well. Very noisy. Very crowded. <laughs> Come on, ask it a few times. <laughs> yeah. I ordered. What was it? I ordered spaghetti with sauce, and I got egg noodles and ketchup. Yeah. When I heard that, I counted and said, "Oh, what a." Uh, Ada felt that was yeah. She was requesting a tutor for a state. I packed my things. I set off. I've been serving here in Dragon Hall for all a year now, and uh, I find it considerable improvement over the city. Here, at least, I can go into the forest and find some peace. <laughs> I do Become miss a tree if I want. Yeah. <laughs> I do miss home from time to time, <laughs> but I won't go back to Latari just yet. You mentioned that Sleece, uh, Sle- what is her name again? Sleece. 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 I've just never seen this name. Sleece never, uh, you mentioned that Sleece never did tell you why she left in the first place. And then she laughs. No, nah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking right, I didn't. I suppose there's no harm in it. It was just my own choice. Or rather, given the circumstances of my birth, and what, I, <laughs> what I was forced to you do. You know my family. You know my cousins. You yeah. know my cousins. And what I was forced to do to redress them, I chose to leave. I. Right. <laughs> they wanted me to Sorry. become a part of the mob. I said no. <laughs> Trying to take over business, English. They asked me to hide a body. You know, fry man, fry man. Look, I'm allergic to lime. What uh, am I gonna do? It can take elves more than a century to stop calling you by the wrong name and stop describing you as the wrong gender after you make a change that dramatic, you see? She shrugs. No hard feelings, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, is that actually what? Yeah. Huh? What? So Celise is trans. Trans, yeah. Okay. Celise is trans. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. We yeah, didn't I think, know like, this in, this whole time. Yeah. In, like, latest D&D, can't elves do that? Hmm. I think. Okay. Can I, I mean, I, that's fine. I, I just I was like, I like how they just drop shit. <laughs> We're like, all right. Shit we did not know yeah. about. <laughs> I just thought it'd be easier for all of us if I, uh, what is it? If I gave everyone a chance to get used to the idea while I go and live with my own true self straight away. She stares at her tea and frowns. Or oh, perhaps I've just delayed the century of fumbling and awkwardness to begin on my return. It occurs to me that with this re- this revealed information, the voice is suddenly very offensive. <laughs> 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 no. just nodded. He had no idea. <laughs> he did not very, very aggressively. Just like, uh, I gotta struggle for my art, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I still made the right choice. I wouldn't have met you otherwise. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> At length, you finish your tea and Celise stands up and excuses herself, <laughs> saying she's uh, she's had some correspondence to catch upon. The serving girl returns to escort you from the manor. Time passes. Get out. Yeah. The encounter is complete. All right, that's the end of the day. Ooh. Yay. Wow. Katie, you want to read the last long sure. fucking day? I've just, been, I've just been shading my Garfield drawing. 
adding dimension. Wait, which one is it? Five, five zero three five. I'm okay. Five zero three five. I swear I will get it right this time. <laughs> the switch. We're back with what's his face drunkenly talking about his wife in the fire. So the day my wife burned to death horribly before my eyes. <laughs> Just make everyone that voice. Yeah, everybody's just that voice now. <laughs> uh, Fryman. Yeah, Fryman. The noon festival continues into the small Jesus hours. Christ. The wee so hours. The small hours. hours. They wrote until the small, the small hours. hours. Just to be fucking God Into the short it. hours Stupid. of the morn. <laughs> the gnome hours. <laughs> but aside from... Into the puny, stunted leg hours of the morn. <laughs> <laughs> into the small nubs of a limb hours. <laughs> Baby fingers. Baby fingers. baby fingers. Until baby fingers times. <laughs> Dirty baby um, fingers. But aside from the occasional lilt of gay music or burble of laughter. Jesus. <laughs> they've used gay like to describe this mm. wedding for like four times. I yeah. mean. And they haven't really used it any other, any time, other time. And it's it is just during the lesbian wedding. wedding. Yeah. It is quite literally a gay really? wedding. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They've used that. gay and like sure a lot author, yeah. in the gay music, the gay yeah. dancing. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no noise reaches your room. You climb into bed exhausted and unable to shake it. I don't oh, know it can't. Re- it can't. It, it can't reach our room because it's too short. Mm. <laughs> uh, waka waka. <laughs> you're unable to shake a feeling of deep. Deep and down, dirty contentment. (laughs) Your dreams are troubled, however. (laughs) Holy fuck. On account of the ghosts. Hang on. I'm not, okay. (laughs) I'm reading this verbatim. This is not, this is not me. Somewhere a dog barks. (laughs) Red things thick with menace. Red things thick with menace? Red things thick with menace. (laughs) Gorged with menace. Got it. Penile erection <laughs> with menace. Angry shafts. Apple red things. <laughs> Boobies and wieners with menace. <laughs> um, throbbing blotchy mm. members with menace. Me- throbbing members. You wake Ooh, several times. Purple with rage. Dodge. <laughs> Shameful uh, rage. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you wake several times in the night and once cross your window seeking so- all six of us <laughs> get out of bed just <laughs> crowding around oh. the did you have did you have that red menacing dream I had a disturbingly <laughs> erotic dream <laughs> about red wieners right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no mine was just apples <laughs> uh, apples you mean red wieners <laughs> oh yes <laughs> Um, finding nothing, you collapse once more and are soon asleep. You each recover half of your max stamina. You each refresh your activation token. This chapter of the story ends here. When you're ready to begin the next chapter, read entry 5248. Yeah. 5248! I like, like to imagine we all sleep in just a big pile. A big pile of yeah. like puppies. Yeah. <laughs> just Aww. Like, yeah, well, the way it works like, is uh, I'm in some sort of elaborate back bend over everybody. Garfield just hawks up like a hairball like and an owl pellet. <laughs> Bones. That was what I was thinking he would do to impress the children at the wedding. Yeah. Just walk up an hour. Oh, just... hey, recreate the skeleton, children. Hang oh, on, boy. small children. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and I, lady, should start like a two-person act. It's like, or, huh. or you can Good. walk up more hairballs yeah. and Martha Stewart can crochet them yeah. into a blanket for all of us. Just not and Martha have toy for children to sold on one minute. <laughs> And then love me, love me. Tommy Lee Gnomes just is like, every dog house, 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 dog house, 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 and he's like, what are you doing? Just the speech from both U.S. Marshals and the Fugitive. You know. You know. Our music is produced by Chris Corlew. Follow him on Twitter at at the Corlew, C-O-R-L-E-W. And find more music at shipwreckedsailor.bandcamp.com. 
Our artwork is produced by Justin Brown. You can follow him on Twitter at, at Justin T. Brown and find more of his artwork at artnessbyjustinbrown.com and justinbrown.info.